and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to manually create an isometric grid. We'll start with a plain white background and I create a new grid on top. Let me call it a grid and I make it transparent. So we can't see anything, it's just a transparent layer, but make sure that you've got it selected so it's active in the layers menu. Then go to filters, render pattern and grid. Check the preview to see what's happening. Uncheck this link icon and then go down the line height. You can adjust the size of it right here. Confirm it, we've got our first grid line. We need two more, so just copy this layer. I'll make the top one invisible and work on the second one. I'll press Shift R for the rotate tool. You can also right click here and select it. Rotate it with an angle of 60 degrees. Now go to the top layer, make it visible again, and this time we'll use minus 60 degrees. That's almost what we need, but you can also see that the first line isn't centered properly, and that happens depending on the initial size of the grid. So the first line that we've rendered, we've picked a size for it and sometimes that leads, depending on the canvas size, to it not being in the center. And even if I delete this one, then copy this grid and rotate it backwards, so minus 60, minus 120, you can see it's still not in center. So to solve that, we simply have to select this layer and then use the move tool and then drag it in center. And now that's what we need. Let us merge all of these layers by using this function down here. So we've got the grid on a single layer and now we can scale it up so that it fits our canvas size. Just press Shift S or select the scale tool right here. And this is how you can manually create an isometric grid in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.